Welcome. I'm Jeff Everhart and in this short video we're going to look at how to add custom menus that are tied to custom functions uh, to Google Sheets, Docs, and Forms using Google Apps Script. So to get started, uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our script editor. We can do that by going to the Tools menu uh, and opening up the script editor. That should pop open in another window for you. Um, and it's a good thing to talk about the difference between a container-bound script and a standalone script in Google Apps Script. A container-bound script is one that we've created uh, through this, the tools menu of a, a Google Sheet, a Google Doc, or something that, that one of the Google apps, uh, as opposed to a standalone script that kind of just sits on its own and runs on its own. Now, being a container-bound script gives us access to certain things that we can do uh, and reference in the spreadsheet UI. So let's we'll take a look at a couple of those differences. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do in here to get started is just we'll remove this my function starter and then we'll create a new one and we'll call this on open and this on open function is what's called a simple trigger in Google Apps Script and what that means is that every time this spreadsheet opens uh, it's going to whatever is inside of this function block is going to get called uh, and optionally we can pass in an event um, we're not going to do that or it's not needed for what we're going to do here uh, but just something that's good to know. Uh, so to get started, what we're going to do when this spreadsheet opens um, is we're going to want to get access to the spreadsheet's UI. And we'll do that by declaring a UI variable and then getting the spreadsheet app and then calling the get UI method on that. And what that's going to do is that's going to return uh, an instance of the spreadsheet's UI that we can then uh, call some additional methods on to add some menus. So what we'll do here is we'll use our UI variable and then we'll call a method called create menu. And this create menu is going to get past a string that is going to be the caption or the label of our menu item. Um, so we can go ahead and call that custom functions. Uh, and then to that, what we're going to want to do is add a couple of items. So that's, that adds a menu option, a uh, menu, and then we're going to add some items to that menu. So we'll go ahead and do a dot. Um, and we're just going to, again, this is a UI instance here, and we're using this dot operator to call a method on it, and we're just going to kind of chain those together. So we're, so we're saying UI create a menu, then add an item to it, and we're going to kind of chain those um, together to create our UI, and then... Um, We'll, we'll add it to the spreadsheet. Okay, so here we're calling add item and we need another caption. And so this is going to be a function called get range that is going to basically give us our location in the spreadsheet. And what we're going to do with our second argument here is also a string, pass in the name of a function um, that will get called when this menu item gets clicked. So we'll just do get range like that. And it doesn't matter that that doesn't exist now. We'll write that in step two. So what then we're going to do is add a separator with the add separator method. Um, and then what we'll do after that is another dot, add submenu, okay? And so what we'll do here is we're actually going to call back UI. We're going to create a new menu, and we'll call this advanced options. So if you had premium content or something you wanted, you could hide a submenu maybe. Um, and then so we'll pass that in there, and I'm just going to kind of space this stuff out a little bit so it's a little bit easier to read do ui.create menu and then we're going to add an item to that and that's going to be called get range values and then we'll similarly set that equal to get range values in camel case so that we can uh, write a function like that in a second so we've got add sub menu and then once we've done that so say for example now we've created we've used this UI instance to create a menu, add some items to it, create a sub menu. Uh, now what we're going to want to do is call add to UI, um, which is going to, as the method says, add this to our spreadsheets user interface. So we'll go ahead and save all that stuff out, hop back over into our spreadsheet. Let's reload that. Um, and you'll see that closes the script editor. And then after some working, we should see our custom functions menu be added to the spreadsheet interface. Yep, so we got our, our menu, that's there. Got our first option, get range, and our advanced options sub menu to get range values. Now what happens if we click on this? What would you expect based on what we've already coded? Well, first this is gonna authorize because it's gonna ask us uh, to, now that we're asking it to do stuff to our spreadsheet, it's saying, hey, I, I, I need you to authorize this, so. 
It's an interesting thing about the on open function that runs first before um, before any permissions are asked for. So let's try to run that one more time. And predictably, we get the script function not found, um, which is what I would expect. Go ahead and dismiss that. Go back into our script editor, and then we'll work on defining some of those functions. Um, OK, so we've got that in there. So let's hop down here and we'll just go ahead and open up a function and call this get range. Uh, I guess this doesn't need any parameters. Uh, and while we're at it, I'll just go ahead and define get range values as well. Just so we've got everything we need. Okay, so inside of our get range function, what this function is going to do is it's basically going to look at a range that we have selected in the spreadsheet uh, and then tell us where we are. So we'll basically be able to click in any cell, run our function, and it'll say you're at the fourth, the fourth column, the fourth row, um, and alert that back out to us. Uh, so to do that, we're going to come in here and we're going to declare a, a variable and call this range. Um, we'll set that equal to the spreadsheet app. Uh, get active range and that's going to return us a, a range object um, and so what we'll need to do is from that range object we're going to extract both the column and the row uh, so we'll say var row equals range dot get row that's going to return an integer so a number so and then we'll do var call column equals range dot get column and that's also going to return an integer so once we have those two pieces of information we'll go ahead and just save that out um, what we'll do is we will call the spreadsheet app again and say get UI to again get a instance of the user interface and then we're going to call a method on that called alert and just pass that in a string um, and so we'll do that and we'll our string will look like this. We'll open up a string. Actually, yep. Yeah. I'm at this location. And then we'll do a new line character. Row. Let's see how this looks. And another new line character. column there. Okay, so let's take a look at that now that I've written this. Okay, so we open up a string. We've got I'm at this location, a new line followed by the row, then a new line followed by the column. Um, okay, so let's, oh, we're missing in this, this right there. There we go. Um, so that should be okay. All right, so we've got that one. So now that we've saved that, we can go ahead and come back in here and refresh our spreadsheet to just kind of reload the script project back into the spreadsheets UI. Um, especially if you're making changes to the user interface, that's always a good thing to do. Um, we can see that it'll close out our script editor. So we'll go ahead and let's say, all right, let's see where we're at. Click get range. You say, okay, I'm at this location, row three. All right, yeah, one, two, three, row three, column two. Okay, cool. So that is our get range function. Now we can open up our script editor and work on get range values. So to do that, we'll hop down into our get range values function um, and we'll go ahead and declare a variable called range that will set equal to spreadsheet dot spreadsheet app dot get active range. So what that's going to do is that is say we had a selection, a multidimensional selection here uh, that's going to return everything that is selected in, in the active range. So it's similar to um, what we've got up here, we're just gonna access it a little bit differently. So you can see here, we, we did this and kind of got the row, got the column to see where we were, we were at in like a one dimensional selection. Um, but this will also return us back a, a 2D, 2D array of the values that we can work with. So it's a pretty interesting, pretty powerful, pretty powerful little function. Um, so to get the values, we'll declare another variable, call that values and we'll say values, and then We'll return that. We can see that that return object is a 2D array. Um, and then what we'll do here is, so we'll just do something simple for a part of this and we'll say get UI again. 
and do an alert similar to what we did with our first our first option. Say are the values for this range. So match our string case here, that'll help that. Okay, we'll go ahead and save that out and see what we get. Refresh our spreadsheet. And then once that works through, we should be able to, uh, we'll come in here and we'll throw some values in, make sure we got some, some stuff to evaluate, and then we'll go ahead and select that range Come to custom functions, advanced options, get range values. And we can see that up there we get um, our alert prompted with all of our stuff listed out um, as an array. So there we've gone back through, we can hop back into our script editor, take a look at our project one more time, um, just to kind of revisit what we've done. So the first thing we had to do to add custom menus was declare an on open function where we essentially get the spreadsheets UI, um, create some menus, add some menu items, attach those menu items to functions that we've defined in our script below, um, and then add those to the UI. And then to obviously those functions can do whatever we want. We've seen examples where we've used the spreadsheet app to kind of reach into the active spreadsheet and get values out based on what the user is doing. Um, so again, the benefits of using a container bound script sometimes based on what you're trying to build. Um, but I do kind of want to look at one more thing that's really quick and easy, and it's an interesting way to make your user interfaces a little bit more customized in, in Google Apps Script. So we can come over here, and based on the way that emoji works, um, we can actually use some emoji uh, to enhance our user interface, if you will. So I'm going to come over here and just copy this search one. And then inside of this string, I'll just go ahead and pop that little emoji icon right there. And since that's a, a valid Unicode character, um, it, it will render for us in the menu. And so we'll go ahead and kind of just get another, another one that maybe doesn't make a ton of sense, but we'll see what that looks like for our get range values function. Go ahead and save those things out and we'll refresh our menu. And once that works through and loads for us, we should be able to see our cool emoji enhanced uh, Google Apps Script functions. So very cool. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to keep watching. Subscribe. Thanks.